Prisoners of Our Own Beliefs, a book written by Gary Parent. Awaken to a new freedom of endless potential, passion, and power. Now let's join Gary on the Bangor waterfront in Bangor, Maine. When we step into a situation, the risk is I may lose it, but if I don't do it, the risk is that I may never have it at all. And how much risk are you willing to take? I'm not sure that my risks are properly placed, maybe. Okay, so what could you do to change that? And that's why I'm here is to listen to you. Okay. I need to find the proper risk. Well, I can't tell you the proper risk. The proper risk is yours to take. And the only way you're really going to discover it is by making mistakes. And there's magic in mistakes. Because every time you make a mistake, we're taught that mistakes are bad. But when we make a mistake, what really happens is it's an opportunity to adjust what we're doing and where we're going and move forward with that. I'll totally agree with you that mistakes, I'm, I'm free to admit that mistakes. Yes. You're not going to get. Politicians and more powerful people should admit. Yes, and you're not going to get through life without making them. It's like people who criticize, condemn, and complain about you or what you do or somebody and you're there, right? If they're going to criticize, condemn, and complain about you and it's holding you back, why not switch that thinking and say, well, I'm going to do what I want to do because they need to criticize, condemn, and complain about what I do. At least I'll be going in the direction I want to go in instead of the one I don't want to go in. And you make yourself invisible. You're untouchable when they... Yeah, when you don't have an emotional reaction to their criticism, eventually they'll go away because they need that reaction in their life. Those are dream stealers. Dream builders will praise and promote you through your life, even when you don't believe in yourself, because they know it's possible. They did it, and a lot of them did it from nothing. And they will walk the walk with you until you get it and you get it right. Those are the people you're looking for. Dream builders instead of dream stealers. Yes. So when you're out and you're talking to people, qualify them before you tell them anything. See what their ideas are, where they're going. What do they have? Qualify them, that's a good one. Okay. If they don't have what you want, then chances are you're not going to get from them what you need. And they're not going to get from you what they need. First one to tell you that you can afford a $250,000 house is a man that owns one, or a person that owns one. And the person who's going to tell you you can't is the one that doesn't. So it's who you associate with. That's your circle of influence. They are the power in your life. Especially... $250,000 house might try to tell me how to get one, but he might be telling me how to work for his. But see, that's, that's a trust issue. Okay, there again, it goes back to risk. And you, you know the difference, I believe, and if you truly listen to him, you know the difference in what he's saying to whether he's trying to get you to buy his house or teach you a way to go get a $250,000 house and not his. Whether he's a dream stealer or a dream... That's right. Yeah, if he's... It's all in the heart. It's all in the heart, and we speak from our heart, our words create our life. It's who we are inside. And it's how much we believe in ourselves to how far we're going to go. And it doesn't matter if we make a mistake. If we make a mistake, fall forward. At least you're five feet closer to your goal. And don't let people hold you back. Those are the thoughts that imprison you and hold you where you are. Do you ever think about advising for the next president? <laughs> Not yet. Because they need this attitude. Yes, they do. Honesty and forward thinking. Now, they have a circle of influence, and that circle of influence creates what's around them. them. Yeah, it creates. And, it's, and it does us, too. It either empowers us and helps us forward, or it smothers us where we are. Okay? But there comes a time when you have to make a decision. We have these trigger points that are created by our self-doubt, which are created by our circle of influence that are invisible and we wear them out here. Ever had a conversation with somebody and all of a sudden they got mad or they started hollering at you and you don't know why? Well, you just hit a trigger point. It had nothing to do with you whatsoever. 
We take it personally, has nothing to do with us. What it has to do with is the fact that you just hit something that was very sensitive to them from their past that they're afraid of, that hurts them, and that's why they react the way they do. And that's all it is, is a reaction. So there comes a time when we have to make a decision in our life. What are we going to do? How much risk are we going to take? And where are those decisions going to take us to decide to move forward, to decide to take that risk? It's all simple. Because we, when we decide not to, we're creating our life. And it's done by the people that are around us. Okay? And create is the word. You're creating your life right now. People are pressure, though. That, that's what makes it the work, isn't it? People, if they know your history, they pressure you. and It's better not to know somebody because they won't pressure you. If they say, so you're just telling me right now that you're talking to the wrong crowd. Maybe. If you keep, I don't know. Yeah, well, you keep going to the people that pressure you and crowd you. You can't go to someone who has abandoned their dreams and hope to build yours. I was trying to say that like, I can be an adult and be my own person, and then I can go back to a family reunion, and they expect behaviors from me. Oh, family reunions, those are... i got to click back <clears throat> to my behavior. No, you don't have to click. But if I, don't, if I meet somebody I've never met before, and they don't know what to expect from me, I have the art of invisibility. I have... They don't know. They don't measure me because they don't know what to measure. Right. So I have the most freedom and they don't know me. When you can go to a family reunion and not get emotionally involved in conversations... Then I will have learned. You will have learned. Then I can walk... And you will, be, you will be a very powerful person because you're not reacting to life. You're living life. There's more than a little bit of wisdom in this book. It'll shake you to your core. A quote by Kevin Hogan, author of Psychology of Persuasion. Published by Network 3000 Publishing. You can get a copy of Prisoners of Our Own Beliefs at Amazon.com or an autographed copy at GaryParent.com. Bookings now available at www.GaryParent.com. What you hide from, you become a prisoner to.